Yeah, I, again, I, I'd, I'd fall back to the direct hiring authorities, I'd fall back to the digital service opportunity, um, but that's not gonna be enough, right? There's, there's probably some uh, complementary programs and, and authorities that we're gonna have to develop out there. Um, and, and ultimately, at, at the end of the day, it has to be an all hands effort again. It, it can't be left to just uh, the hiring officials. Um, uh, additionally, too, and I think it was mentioned by, by Josh uh, from the White House here was um, on, the pr on the previous session that we need to make sure that we're developing and being very ra rapidly moving to the workforce of the future, right? We don't, people don't want to hire into kind of yesterday's positions. They want to be on the cutting edge of where the IT workforce is going. The example I used was OINT at the Department of Veterans Affairs is rapidly in our next st uh, stage in, de in de a DevOps journey is we are going to a product line management mentality where it's focused around a particular portfolio, it's matrixed across all capabilities within IT and cybersecurity, um, and those skill sets are differential in terms of architects and developers and security folks. We need to make sure that we're creating the right positions, we're classifying them, and we're giving people the opportunities to skill, upskill, reskill in order to serve in those. Because again, a young man or woman, even a mid-grade uh, man or woman that's in our workforce today, they do, they do not want to do the same job for even five or 10 years. They want to have that mobility.